date 23 April 2020, and I'm joined by Mr. Tinashe Jonasi from I Do Zimbabwe. How are you, sir? I'm fine, and you, sir? Right. Today, you've got some leaked documents that you want to show us. Where are these documents coming from? These documents are signed by Minister of Finance, Mutulin Mube, as of 30 March 2020, uh, as the budget to the fight of coronavirus uh, addressed to the president of Zimbabwe, E. Jim Nangagwa. Okay. What are these documents? These documents state the breakdown of the budget, uh, the total budget uh, available as of 30 March to fight the coronavirus and to the members of the public and to the international community, they are claiming they don't have money. So we are here to break down, to show Zimbabweans that we are having mafia government led by Mnangagwa to loot and people are dying of coronavirus while the money was already gazetted for all this. Okay, can we go through the documents and the amounts involved? Okay, th 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 thank you so much. Okay. Um, They, they started um, with 25 million RTGS, which was availed by the Minister of Finance to the COVID-19. The second was a 50 million RTGS, uh, which was forwarded to Premier Service Medical Aid Society, uh, again to fight uh, COVID. The uh, item number three, the 2% intermediate uh, money transfer tax, which we call IMTT, the, the, the money that they deduct from um, when you do cell phone or echo cash, cell phone uh, cash transfer, was all budgeted to fight corona COVID-19 under the program called the social protection. And the next item is a, a, a US $2 million uh, under the disaster uh, response, which is going to be uh, availed for the next three months. Then the next item is $200 million RTGS uh, per month, also for the next three months under the cash transfer program. Then he, this is the money availed by the government of Zimbabwe. Now I'm going to read the, the, the money uh, pledged by uh, foreign governments and, uh, and donors. The first one uh, is the Okay, global, sorry, under the development uh, partner support. The first was the Jack Ma and the Ali, Alibaba foundations. They delivered 20,000 test kits, 100,000 masks, and uh, 1,000 medical use uh, protective. Uh, suits. The, the United Kingdom government pledged 1.7 million pounds towards the COVID-19, while the United Kingdom Department for International Development, DFID, uh, donated coronavirus uh, protective equipment to Wilkins Hospital worth above 100,000 British pounds. The next is the Chinese government. The Chinese government uh, already supporting the up upgrade of Zimbabwe's main isolation center, which was the Wilkins Hospital, um, to upgrade. So, yeah, and then the next is the development research center Council from China, which um, delivered 3,000 daily protective masks 
through the Zimbabwe Embassy in China. And then the next is the Global Fund. The Global Fund, uh, has, it pledged 25 million US dollar to improve the country's preparedness and uh, strengthen local mechanisms against coronavirus. Uh, let me go to the next items. Then the next item is the U.S. government. The U.S. government pledged 470,000 U.S. dollar uh, yeah, for the COVID-19. And the next is the global financing facility from the World Bank. It, it, it added, uh, it financed um, US 25 million, 25 million US dollar, of which 5 million will, will support the government uh, prioritize the COVID-19 uh, preparedness and response plan. The next is the European Union. The European Union uh, pledged, um, uh, okay, let me read it. Read. The European Union, okay, there are so many items here. The European Union, um, uh, I'm looking for the figure. Yeah, the European Union, um, through the 11th European Development Fund, pledged additional funds of 38 uh, million euro to support COVID-19 through the Health Development Fund. So these are the funds which were available by 3rd March 2020 when Munangagwa's government was pledging uh, bankruptcy and they were broke and, they, and Zororo Makamba was declared dead because there was no ventilator, there was no nothing. These were funds available for the, for the government of Zimbabwe. Okay. So l let us go through this uh, information. Yeah. They are going to be releasing 200 million every month. Yes. Cash transfers. Yes. How are they going to identify the people to give this money? Thank you. There is no need for identification. They, even in this document, they, they stated that they are going to... To, to, to have in all workers uh, fight on the front line of COVID-19 in Zimbabwe are going to be under insurance, medical insurance. There's so much good information here, but no one is, they are even struggling to have protective gear. Uh, we saw General Chiwenga wearing a protective suit from China. There are many of them donated in Zimbabwe and the, the doctors and nurses are not even being, being given those safe protective suits. Okay, so the, uh, what are they doing with these resources that they've been given? They are looting. They are in, in, hence, the, 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 the fake, uh, uh, sorry, uh, hence uh, the office of Mnangagwa through the, the central intelligence, they doctored a letter, they purported was done by Love Mo uh, Zinosekwa of Stumbiza, who was arrested under level 14, whatever crime. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a it's a central intelligence game. That guy is not a suspect. Munangagwa is not complaining, he's not angry. It's a game to intimidate journalists, especially Opu Echimono and other journalists in Zimbabwe, especially also Mr. Gambakwe, who are fearless, and, and the public, not to, to mention that the, 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 the COVID-19 funds are being looted. Okay, on your list, I do not see Kudata Gray's name. But last uh -huh. week, there were reports that a plain load of goods came from China. Do you mm -hmm. think they are going to list what he brought on that list? Uh, as we know, when the, a plane is coming from China, it's under the, the, guise, the, the, the disguise of, um, of COVID-19. That plane was having 
their private uh, businesses. They shop equipment, whether it's weapons, whether it's, you know, they're abusing. They know that the plane won't be searched, won't go through immigration when it's declared it's COVID-19. They are doing private business with the Chinese. Okay. So now let's go to the issue you've been speaking about regarding the letter of extension. Yeah. Why would they arrest someone for writing a letter? Uh, when you're arresting someone in a drama, uh, we, we, it's, it's, it's not, it, there's no impact because it's a drama. We know that we, we, our justice system only operates when, it, when you are not under the ZANU-PF. In drama, it starts with a letter written in Mnangagwa's office, and then Mnangagwa starts talking that I'm going to unleash uh, the CIO, and then the guy is arrested. Le, le, in all earnest, with, with due respect, why would, would that man uh, he, he write a letter to benefit what? Because let's consider him, he's not an activist, he's not anyone. What would be the benefit from him for doctoring that fake letter? There's, there's no benefit of which Mnangagwa was ready to, to, to extend the, 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 the days, and he has done so. So why would that, that guy, and we know that Mnangagwa is running the country uh, under cut and paste, uh, copying uh, uh, Ramaphosa. It's clear that Mnangagwa was going to extend. So what, there's no effect of that letter. Mnangagwa was angry. That letter is not damaging Mnangagwa in, at, at, at all. It's a game to intimidate people to, to, to publish information about the looting of a COVID-19 fund. Right. So I think let's summarize this. Yeah. You are saying there's a lot of money that has been made available. Yeah. But instead of distributing the money and the goods, yes. people in government are actually taking the goods and the money and using it for themselves. And, and their then families. they arrest that journalist so yeah. that whoever tries to publicize, they will know that yeah. This is serious consequences. Yes. The, the guy was not arrested. He's part of the plot. The main actor is Mnangagwa. The guy is, the, 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 is acting as the writer of the letter. That letter was write, written in Mnangagwa's office. It's a game. Okay. I think it's very, very clear. Mr. Tinashe Jonasi, let us wrap it up here. Is there anything else you want to say before we close? I'm saying to Zimbabweans in the world, um, there's so much information, watch the space. We have got so many documents, original documents uh, to leak. We are going to, to expose darkness with light. So many documents, and we can't mention now who is next to be leaked among the ministers in Mnangagwasi government. Thank you very much. And we've had very interesting documents, starting with the one that was done last week. That was very interesting. And many people found that very, very interesting. Thank you very much, Mr. Jonas. Thank you so much.